What's up, everyone? Looks like our tachometer needle has broken off. I think it's due to the heat. From you can see here, part of the needle is still stuck onto the metal prong. And we got our needle there. So I'm gonna try to pull the cluster, uh, take that piece off of the, the prong and glue it back onto the needle. Uh, then hopefully be able to slide it back on. So I'm gonna go get some tools and we're gonna try to get this thing removed. My apologies for the mess. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people's workbench looks the same, but I believe there's only a couple tools we're gonna need for this job. Um, it's real nice. I don't think it's absolutely needed. You probably just use some flathead screwdrivers, but it's really nice to have these trim removal kits. Uh, pretty cheap. You can get them at Harbor Freight. Um, we got seven millimeter here. This is just me for some basic hand tightening um, for a little bit longer. Uh, jobs we're going to use this milwaukee uh with the extension and same with the seven millimeter um, but that's i believe that's all we're going to need all right back in the car um, i believe there's only going to be about six screws that we're going to have to pull out starting out there's you know two up here and then we're going to have to pull this trim piece on the sides and up top that should come out and then it should be able to give us access to the four screws that are holding the cluster in I believe two are up top and then two are down at the bottom down here, but you'll see those when I get this first trim piece off. Those bad boys out, and I'm gonna go to the trim removal kit, start trying to work my way, probably in between there and all the way down, pull out the sides. So this is about what it looks like. Got a couple options here. I'm probably gonna start out with something maybe along these lines right here. Let's see what we can do. So let's see here. We'll be able to get underneath there. There's a couple clips you just gotta watch out for. Um, we got that top, now I'm gonna work on the sides. So I was able to pull that out pretty easily. Let's see if the side is the same. All right, that's out. try to use both hands so I don't scrape up any of the interior. Here I have this top part out. We have the sides. I had to lower the steering wheel just with this tab right here. Um, but I noticed that this bottom portion is attached by this kind of rubber mat. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take off this top part here, be able to take this all off in one unit so I don't rip that leather piece. Um, so I think the way to do that is underneath, there are these screws right here, one, two, then a third one. Um, I think that's a six millimeter, so we're about to find out. Right, everywhere that I've read, they said it's a six millimeter, but I don't know if they're kind of filed down a little bit from taking them off in the past. Um, but I was trying a five and a half, which I had in my kit, and it seems to fit and is pretty snug. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those three off with the five and a half millimeter. All right. Well, here's the full thing. It's kind of took some finagling to get it out. As you can see, the cluster is pretty dirty. Um, but now that we have that trim piece out, we can get to these bolts up here. One, two, and it's kind of hard to see back there. And focus, you can see it back there. I believe they're all seven millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Um, Nice you have a little extension to reach, probably gonna be needed, but yep, let me get those pulled. So I actually needed to pull out the big boy extension because the one that's in the bottom back there is kind of a long reach. Got the bottom out, out to the top. I would say, I uh, probably don't film like me, probably have two hands handy because if you try to pull out those bolts and you drop one, uh, potentially fall into the abyss. So I'm gonna watch out for that. I'm gonna use both hands, be right back. Now that I got those bolts removed, it's pretty easily the cluster just slides right on out. But um, just on this right hand side, there's a connector. Uh, you'll just have to press that clip in and disconnect it. So let's see here. This is what the connector looked like. Pretty easy to just squeeze that. But sometimes with older models, um, the plastic can be pretty frail. So I'd just be careful and not press too hard to get that unclipped. Mine was pretty easy, even though I got a lot of miles. Just unplugs right back there. Now we've got the whole unit out. So I'm gonna bring this in side and see kind of just what clips need to be undone around the side. Looks like there's one there. Looks like there is a, maybe right there. 
be right there, there, one, two, three down at the bottom, and then hopefully I can get them all apart without breaking anything, just so I can take this plastic piece off and get the needle removed. All right, like I was showing you guys before, um, we do have several of these clips uh, that are honestly pretty easy to get back, um, but it's gonna be kind of hard to hold back all of them uh, at the same time to be able to separate this. So I was thinking that maybe I could use the help of some old um, either gift cards or hotel keys to kind of slide in between. Uh, let's see here, like that, that I can get behind it to hold it. Um, I don't have enough, so I also have some just kind of some computer zip ties that I can use that are thin enough as well that I can slide behind it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that to get it separated. You guys can get an idea of what I was talking about. I use this to pull it back and then slid the zip tie behind it just to pull it apart and keep it in place. Um, it's a little nerve wracking just because this is plastic. The truck has almost 200,000 miles on it. Um, I'm afraid of them being slightly brittle. So you just gotta be careful. Really designed it to where they didn't want you to take this off, but um, some of these clips have a little black bar behind it that pushes this out. That has to kind of bend a little bit. This is another part where these uh, plastic trim removal pieces come in handy. I've used it to pretty much pry this open and then slide one of these zip ties underneath where the clip makes so that it doesn't slide back into it. There we go. Right, I would highly recommend doing the method that I showed, um, using those zip ties to hold in underneath the clips. Um, was able to finally get the plate off and now, next course of action is I took the piece of plastic off of the metal prong there. I'm going to have to attach it. I'm going to glue it on to the needle. Um, I just got some crazy glue. Um, it says plastic, ceramic, wood, rubber, metal, leather, and more. I figured this would be good. It'll dry quick. Um, only just going to try to prevent um, getting it on my fingers and glue my fingers to the plastic needle. Uh, we'll see how that goes once it cures. We'll hopefully slide it back on. I do have a concern that I won't be able to put it on at the same point of where it is when it's resting when the vehicle's off. I'm gonna probably look up some videos on Google to see where it rests and try my best to put it on there, but I figured it would look better than how it's gonna look without it or how it was before, regardless of whether it's completely accurate. Um, it's automatic, so it's not like it's manual that I'm really paying attention to it, but we'll see how it goes from there. All right, so we got it all glued. We're able to push it back in. I just brought it out to the truck plugged the harness back in, started it up, um, revved it up and the needle went up. Um, then I turned off the vehicle and it dropped down. Um, pretty happy about it. Just need to put the face plate back on and install everything back in. All right, she's a little dirty, more so on the outside, but she just clipped on real easily. Um, that was super nice. Just make sure that it's flat, pressed down on one place. I'm about to go plug her back in. It's dark now, so I don't really know how good of a video I'm gonna have once it's in, but we'll see. All right, it's dark out now, but we got her plugged in. Um, tachometer is staying around one at idle speed. Give it a little bit of a rev. You can see that it's working. So uh, pretty easy install. Happy they got it done. Uh, before when the needle was off, the LEDs behind the needle were kind of blinding when driving. So uh, just happy to have it done finally. But all right, thank you for watching.